Hello, welcome or welcome back today. I am doing another Neville Says where I take a quote from Neville, uh, one of his books in The Complete Reader, and I share my interpretation of that quote and how you can apply it to your life. And today's quote is on how not to accept life as you see it. It's a really good one, so stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi and I am a qualified life coach and author. I am also super passionate about the amazing teachings of the Law of Assumption as originally taught by the wonderful Neville Goddard. It is the stories we tell that create our life. So if you want to change your life, then you have to change the story. And if you want to create the most amazing life, you need to know how to tell the most amazing stories. And that is why I am here. Thanks to these teachings, I'm now telling myself much better stories and I want to help you to do the same. If you would like further support with this, I am available for coaching. Those details are in the box below, or if you just want to stay connected, uh, you can find me on Instagram and those details are in the box below as well. So today we are doing another Neville Says where I take a quote from The Complete Reader and share it and how you can apply it. And today's quote is from one of my favorite books from Neville. It's called The Law and the Promise. It's from chapter one. The law, imagining creates reality. This is one of the foundational principles of the law of assumption. Your imagination creates your reality. It is not your reality creating imagination. The quote is, do not bow before the dictate of facts and accept life on the basis of the world without. Assert the supremacy of your imaginal acts over facts and put all things in subjection to them. Hold fast to your ideal in your imagination. Nothing can take it from you but your failure to persist in imagining the ideal realized. Imagine only such states that are of, of value or promise well. Okay, that is a lot to process but I'm gonna do my best to do, do that so that you can apply this amazing, profound teaching in your life and experience it, the benefits of it. Do not take life as you see it. Don't accept what you see as reality as the way things are. You decide the way things are based on what you are capable of creating in your imagination. Now, the reason that these teachings are just so profound and powerful is because they go against the way we were taught. And the reason that we were taught to look outside of ourselves uh, at reality and to assume that that is the way things are and that's the truth is because our survival was based on it when we were growing up. As babies, as young children, we needed to look outside of ourselves because that is how we got the information about the world that we were now inhabiting. Uh, we looked to our parents, we looked to our caregivers, we looked to the adults around us, we looked to our environment to get a sense of this world that we were now in. And we needed to do that because if we didn't, it would be very likely that something might happen to us. Um, because if you know kids, obviously, they have a tendency to do whatever the hell they want. They can run onto roads in front of traffic. They can run off the edge of cliffs. They can dive into pools and oceans. And I mean, kids will just do anything. It's, it's, it's important for us to know the boundaries of this physical universe. And for us to do that, we need to look outside of ourselves for what those boundaries are. It's the perfect setup because if you want to hide the treasure, have the player look anywhere else but where the treasure is. And of course, the treasure is within you. The treasure is your imagination. That is the key to life. If you have that on your side, you have the key to life. You have the keys to the game. The keys to the game and how to play it is your imagination and whatever you can hold in imagination and persist with, that is what you are going to have to create the realities and experiences that you want to have. And when you have those keys, you open up a whole world of infinite possibilities because you, if you can imagine it, you can have it. We're not brought up knowing this. We come across this uh, as we come into adulthood. Thankfully, you're here and you now know this and you can start to apply it. Life is a game. It wouldn't be fun if we knew where the, the gold was. We had to go through all the trials and tribulations that we go through in our lives to finally eventually end up here where we can now go, okay, I can see how things are actually not as they seem. So what Neville is saying in this amazing quote is that things are not what they seem. Do not accept life on life's terms, essentially. You're the ones that created in your consciousness. So just because there's a fact coming at you in reality, 
that's only there because it's a hardened piece of consciousness. So that fact that is showing up in your reality is just a result of consciousness that was held for long enough to harden into fact. And whatever can be created in our imagination, which all reality is, can be uncreated in imagination. So therefore, anything that's in reality isn't really, it's not set in stone. Nothing is set in stone. If you can imagine something, whether it's in your past or in your future, that can get reflected back in your reality. So what he is saying is you can look at your reality today and there might be things in your reality that are unfavorable, things that you might not want to be there. Even in your past, you can actually go back and revise those situations in your past that were unfavorable and you can recreate them or even uncreate them. And I'll link a video I'm going to guess that it's coming up on this side now. I think I'm getting better at this. I'm going to link a video to the parking ticket that I got out of um, because I knew that I created it and I also knew that whatever I create, I can uncreate. And just because something is a fact, so that ticket was a fact. Also, I was parked illegally as well. Not that I knew it, but I was. Uh, so that to me was just a fact in my reality as a result of a past consciousness where I had literally been thinking about getting a parking ticket and how much the parking tickets cost and had a whole thought process around it, thought, thought process around it. So I was very well aware that I created that situation and I was also aware because I've been working with these teachings for some time that facts are not set in stone. Just because something is in your reality does not mean that it is set in stone even if that is in your past, it is not set in stone. You can create, recreate, uncreate anything because you are the creators of your reality and you do all of that in your imagination. If you're seeing something in your, in your reality that is unfavorable, what you do with that is you go into your imagination and you create how you would like things to be. So you literally engage your imagination in creating a scene that you would like it to be. So creating the ideal, whether it's a revised situation from your past or a completely new reality that you haven't experienced yet. You do all the work in your imagination and you stick with that. So you hold true to that imagined act knowing that imagination creates reality. So whatever you can hold in consciousness using your imagination is what it will eventually get out pictured. And that's where you really have to stay the path with this. This takes guts. This takes faith. This takes persistence. This takes commitment because you'll be doing this in the face of opposition where reality is showing you something opposite to what you've got in your imagination. But if you can just remind yourself that your imagination is what creates reality and whatever you can hold in imagination and make the dominant story, it has to get reflected back. I love that term, assert supremacy. So really what you're saying is that your imagination is supreme over your reality. Your, your reality is not supreme over your imagination. Your reality isn't even supreme over you. You must assert supremacy of your imaginal acts over facts. Oh my God, I love this. I mean, this just doesn't this just open up the whole world to you because all of a sudden you can create, recreate, uncreate, anything it is that you like and a fact is not necessarily set in stone it suddenly you're free you're free to create whatever it is that you want to create as long as you can hold true to those imagined acts in your mind assert your supremacy over reality and that doesn't mean control reality. We actually have no control over reality. I know that sounds like a bit of a contradiction, but we do not control how consciousness gets reflected back in this 3D reality. That is not our job. Our job is to simply control our consciousness and we do that with our imagination. So if you're revising something from the past or you're creating something in your future, you do all of that in your imagination, knowing that your imagination is the supreme creator. Imagination is God and you are imagination, therefore you are God and everything that comes from your consciousness is originates from imagination, therefore everything is God. We are living in a imagined universe. 
the, the physical world is not what's real, even though it looks and appears and feels and, and smells and touches and tastes everything, it looks and feels real. It is actually your imagination that is real that is getting reflected back in this wonderful holographic reality. See how you go with that? <laughs> I mean, really, all of these videos are just saying the same thing, which is just your imagination creates reality. And it's just saying the same thing all these different wonderful ways. Um, but of course, we need those reminders and we need that constant repetition because these, uh, these teachings do really flip everything on its head. So keep that in mind. You are the creators of your reality. You are the superstars of this show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie, and whatever you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too, and you will have the most amazing life, and this is my wish for you. Thank you for listening. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, please feel free to share with family and friends. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Bye.